Hello, my name is Asa, and today we are here in a new tutorial for App Inventor. In this video, we are going to learn how to make a function or a procedure to make a very simple calculator to add some numbers. Okay, so this is the finished app that we are going to make with a function. First, we have number one. For example, we write here a number, and then we write the number two. And then we are going to have the result here with a text. The result is and this is everything in a function or procedure. So let's start with the tutorial. So the first thing that we need to do is to prepare the screen. So you go to layout, and add an horizontal arrangement and then you just set uh, the width to fill parent then we are going to use here a user interface we talk uh, we drag a text box and two text boxes okay now we are going to use this one and we are going to rename this to number one and then the other one to number two number so we have the two numbers here or the two uh, text boxes and then in the middle of them we are going to add a label and we are going to call this label just the operator we're going to uh, add let's call it add and then we are going to change the text for this one and we are going to check the text for plus symbol that's it and then for in the first number we don't need anything we can write so for example here in the hint number one in the hint the number two well number two excellent now we need to display the result the result will be in another label so we are going to rename this one as my result my result well companion cause got disconnected don't worry maybe i just lost the internet but anyway now we have this one and then we go for text label and we are going to rename the text label to result result excellent and now to calculate everything we are going to use a button so we are going to drag here a button and then we are going to name it calcu calcu calculate button calculate and then we change the text and calculate excellent we can set the screen just to center Aligned horizontal center, align center, center, center. I guess that's okay. So we have these things, and everything is here. We are going to center everything in the horizontal arrangement just to make it look less uglier, and that's it. So now we are going to create a procedure to calculate this. So this is the idea number one plus number two, and when I press this guy. It will give me the result. So let's create this. So uh, let me just update my companion because I guess the. Okay, so this is what we have so far. So we start with the procedure first. The first thing is we add here a procedure. Yeah, procedure. And then we are going to call it calculate or add, add numbers. I guess that's okay. So we are going to check in this procedure first this we are going to take for example the value of this guy and we are going to take take the text number one text okay and we need the number two we can duplicate and just change this to number two the text that it's containing over there okay now and then we need to check here math okay we are going to use a math procedure here okay and we are going to create a variable for the result 
that we create here the variable and we call it result. Sorry, result. At the beginning, we set it to zero. And that's it. Now, every time we're going to add the numbers, basically we are doing this. We are taking number one, text, plus number two, text. Okay? So this is the procedure that we are going to do. We can select this one, the number one here in the designer, and then we are going to check numbers only. So, numbers only, to allow only numbers for the person that it's going to type in here. For example, if I click here, I just can't write numbers. I am trying to type something, but it's not working. Okay. So now, we have the procedure. And you say, well, how can I run the procedure? Well, the, the procedure is going to run in the button. Whenever we click this thing. So, the procedure by itself, it doesn't uh, do anything. You need to call it. So, for example, I just prepared my procedure here, but when it's needed, I need to call it, okay? So, to call the procedure, we go to procedures and we have this one. We use the name of the procedure to call it when we do something in an event. When we click the button, we are going to run this procedure, okay? So, also, we need to check that the uh, texts are not empty, okay? We can add just a very simple condition here. If they are not empty, we can run the procedure, okay? And that's it. We can call this the result. Or also, we can add more in this procedure, just like this, okay? For example, if we can set the result like this, we can use a text label, okay? For this, the global result, it will be this. And then we are going to again modify the result. That is the previous result. It's this one. And we are going to use join. Here. So we are going to join the result with another text. Okay, so we can use here. And I use here the result is, and then we leave a space, and it will give us the result here. Now we have this ready to be used. But if I use it right now, I won't see the result because I need to save the result in the label for the result. If you remember, here we have a label for the result. So I have here in join the result is and get the global result. And that's pretty cool. But now we need to add the label result and we are going to modify the text. Set my result text, okay? And we are going to set it to, in this case, to global result. Now, after you do this, it is a good idea, in this case, to reset the things, okay? So first, let's check what is happening right now. Three plus four, the result is seven, okay? So we can add bigger numbers, for example, this one, and we calculate, and this is the result. But now, we need to delete automatically when we press this or when we run the procedure we need to tell uh, you know when you calculate could you please just now like empty these spaces okay that's a good idea so just let's leave this to empty space and this is to empty space so now we go to the calculator calculate there's nothing the result is zero because it was zero now we can write three four four five 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 four 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 and that's it, this is the result, okay? Well, now, to sum up everything, we use procedures or functions, okay, to do different steps, okay? Now, when we make the procedure, this won't do anything until we call it in an event. For example, when we press the button, when we touch the screen, or when something happens in the app. 
we are going to call this procedure. But if we have it just like this and we don't call it, nothing is going to happen because we need to call the function to, uh, in order to make it work for us. So that is the idea and the convenience of having procedures to organize better your code. And remember, procedures is just a set or a procedure is just a bunch of steps, okay, that you need to do in order and then you are going to use it. And you can use it in different places, okay? So you can have three buttons and they have call number and that's it. Well, I hope that you like this tutorial about functions. My name is Sasa and I will see you next time.